Well, we are off to the movies now, and it's the highly anticipated sequel that fans thought may never come. Wakanda Forever is the next chapter in the Black Panther story, following the death of the film's leading man, Chadwick Boseman. And Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabba Davis joins us now. Morning, Jabs. So the cast said it was difficult to return to set, but it was a story that had to be told. Good morning, Mon. Yes, the loss of Chadwick Boseman looms large over this sequel that brings down the curtain on Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Of course, the star propelled the first Black, Fa Black Panther film to over a billion dollars at the box office in 2018 before revealing that he'd been battling cancer during his, during his entire time in the MCU across four films. So after Disney and Marvel declared they would not move forward with the character, the studio and filmmakers have wrestled with the best way to respect Chadwick's legacy and Wakanda Forever is a moving and emotional roller coaster, a tribute to him. In the wake of King T'Challa's death, the African nation faces a new threat from the king of an ancient underwater civilization who is also a feathered serpent god with wings on his ankles. Stop! Right there! Who are you? And how did you get in here? This place is amazing. The air is pristine. And the water. My mother told stories about a place like this. A protected land with people that never have to leave. That never have to change who they were. What reason do you have to reveal your secret to the world? I am not a woman who enjoys repeating herself. Who are you? I have many names. My people call me Ahkukunkan. But my enemies call me Namor. It is pretty out there and an emotional epic. Three and a half stars for Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, which is in cinemas now. It is very, very emotional, this one. Winged serpent god with feathers on his ankles. He has if a particular a for... turn of phrase. Mm. If you had a time. <laughs> Every time. I've seen one of You'd those. You'd have a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Well, next up is the new Amazon Prime series, which is called The Peripheral. Tell us about this. Mon, there are so many amazing series uh, to go with at the moment. We've got The White Lotus, we've got The Bear, of course, The New Crown has just kicked off. But hands down, the one that I'm utterly addicted to is this one. It's called The Peripheral. The series is streaming on Prime Video. It's based on the 2014 sci-fi mystery thriller novel by William Gibbs Gibson. It's set in apocalyptic visions of the future. The story centres around Flynn Fisher, played by Chloe Grace Moretz, and her brother Burton, who's played by Jack Raynor. The pair live with their sick mum in a small small country town and when Burton receives a futuristic VR headset, Flynn tries it out with some massive consequences. Let's take a look at the peripheral. I just put it on? Mm-hmm. Way back. Close your eyes. <laughs> Stop it. Count back from ten. The rest should be self-explanatory, more or less. Okay. The sibling interplay between those two characters and the two actors is just sensational. Masterful, easily this year's best series. Five stars wow. for the peripheral. Just mm. watched the fifth episode on Friday. You're a new episode drops each week. five stars like they're going out of fashion well, at the moment, Well, he's done it twice. Yeah. Matt, check this out. Check back in twice with me. In Let me know weeks. if it's warranted. Stand yeah. by it. What was the other one? You gave that movie five the, stars? The Woman King. The Woman yeah, King. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I went and saw that. That was not bad. Okay. Mm. Not bad, was it five stars? It was, yeah. I think he was one star too generous, but I'm not a movie reviewer. No, you don't know what you're <laughs> so talking I leave about. It, I leave it to the professionals. Sure. Although you tip me into Bad Sisters, I'm on Ep 8, nothing's happened. Uh, rubbish, you <laughs> loved it. You're just frustrated because you don't know who done it. Nothing's happened yet. Well, bad something sisters happened. Bad Sisters is another great one. Oh, I need Jabs? a good series, bad Jabs. I'm going to watch the bad periphery. Bad Sisters. The yep. peripheral, get in that, and uh, Shantaram on Apple TV+. Oh, yeah. Plus. I read That's that getting book. A lot of okay. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thanks, Jabs. Thanks, guys. Oh, I read the book. You done? Lots of people read the book. Okay, go.